What we have here is a hooded vulture. Hooded vultures are a species from a good portion of Africa. They have a really, really wide range. They were a species of least concern as of 2009. And then in 2015, their numbers have plummeted so rapidly that they are now a species of, that is considered critically endangered. This is our sixth hooded vulture chick that we are uh, raising. They lay one egg at a time. He's sleepy right now, he or she, we're not sure yet. One egg clutches. So when you have a population that crashes so dramatically, mostly due to poaching and some habitat encroachment, it's a problem when they're only having one chick a year or one chick every other year. This baby was hatched out in an incubator and at about two weeks of age, we'll go back with the parents. Hey. Favorite food items right now are chopped up baby mice and rats. Oops. And sometimes it takes them a little while to get going. Wakey, wakey. And even though this chick is four days old, he's still a little bit weak and wobbly. There we go. First piece. This hooded vulture chick is currently being fed every two and a half hours for five feedings a day and is receiving supplemental calcium twice a day. Plus gets to go outside for a little bit of Florida sunshine. Come here. <laughs> oh, don't eat the whole thing. This chick is very bright and alert, has a great appetite, and is getting a nice, strong head and neck doing really, really well. Within a few days, this bird will be able to eat out of a bowl if we want it to. Extremely precocious, except for it does take them about six months to fledge the nest. The parents would spend time preening the chick, which helps make him stronger and fluffier and feel loved. Vultures are very critical to our world. They are nature's cleanup crew. So we are one of only a few states in the country that breed both chinked vultures and hooded vultures. The incubation period is 50 to 55 days, and during vulture breeding season, there's a whole lot of squabbling. So in order to keep the eggs safe, we pull the eggs and replace them with the dummy. Once we pull the eggs, we move them into an incubator. But a traditional incubator is made for something like a chicken egg. As you can see, hooded vulture eggs and cake vulture eggs are much bigger. So we actually have to do supplemental hand turns to make sure that they are getting turned appropriately and to keep that embryo safe. That incubation lasts 50 to 55 days. And once they hatch out, we go ahead and move them into one of our handy brooders. 
When they first hatch, we can put them into this nice small brooder. And as they get a little bit bigger, they graduate to a larger size. When they're about 10 days old to a couple weeks old, we'll replace the dummy egg we have underneath the parents with that chick. The chick's off to a nice strong start and the parents think it just hatched, so they get all the benefits of keeper strong start and parent rearing.